it was just like a scary movie just in front of your eyes. New tonight at six, the family of a teen killed in a stolen Hyundai is talking to Tin TV. Tonight, two teens are dead, another in the hospital after police say they stole a car and crashed it into a building. Tin TV first had this is breaking news last night at 11. Tonight, police say at least two of the teens in that car were connected to the Kia boys. Tonight, Tin TV is asking police what will it take to get this dangerous and now deadly crime under control. Crime Tracker 10's Lacey Crisp is live at police headquarters tonight in downtown. Columbus and Lacey, you just talked to the family of one of those teenagers. Yeah, three of those boys, all just 14 years old, according to Columbus Police. Two of them are now dead. One is seriously injured. And Columbus Police are saying this dangerous trend of kids stealing cars has to end. It was scary, real scary, horrific. It was just like a scary movie just in front of your eyes. Like, it was something you wouldn't even picture little kids doing, you feel me? Or something you can't even picture a car doing with little kids in it. These are images from Columbus Police body cameras showing how the stolen Hyundai was crumpled after three 14-year-olds inside slammed the car into the side of the building. Columbus Police were called around 8 p.m. after reports three boys were trying to break into a Kia and took off in a blue Hyundai. The police helicopter followed the car until it crashed. Columbus Police Chief Elaine Bryant says two of the boys were ejected. Gianna Armstrong says her little brother, Javon Reed, was one of the two who did not survive. My brother, he a, he a goofy kid, definitely. Like, he just brings light to the party. Like, he the funniest out of all of us. Like, he just goofy. Armstrong contends her brother is not a Kia boy and has never been in trouble. This deadly crash is hard for her to understand. He just hung with the wrong crowd. He hung with the wrong crowd after we told him multiple times, watch who you hang with and make sure you hang with the right crowd because the wrong crowd could get you in trouble. We've had these kids uh, associated with our Kia boys trends that we've been talking about, two of them at least. We had two of them that were missing. They're in the missing reports. Uh, we had two of them that have been previous, previous police reports with stolen autos, but one kid had nothing in our system. Columbus Police Commander Dwayne Mabry says of the nearly 6,000 cars that have been reported stolen in the city of Columbus this year, 40% of those are Hyundais and Kias. They're doing it to try to get likes. They're intentionally driving reckless. They're intentionally crashing these vehicles. Bryant says CPD will arrest the car thieves, but everyone needs to be held accountable to stop this deadly trend. And not just the children, the parents. They have to be equally involved in this effort. We have to make sure that they're on board and we have to hold them accountable as well. For the families who saw the violent way their loved one died, they can't help but think. How they felt at that moment, you, you know what I'm saying? Just, just hitting something and, and not knowing what's going on in the next minute. And then you lose your life. That's tragic. Now, Columbus police have not officially released the boys' names yet. They say they're still investigating. Reporting live, Lacey Crisp, 10TV News.